Let's put it like this. Um, it's a newer one, but I like it. Um, his wife. <laughs> his wife treats me like her husband on her lonely nights. The story is her husband and her wife have never treated her right, so she feels it's only right said they're getting a divorce soon. <laughs> but I still believe in marriage, so I feel like that's life. And I contemplate those thoughts that she lay in my bed every other night. <laughs> Knowing that I'm wrong, but everything she do is right. She eased my mind, tell me all they used to do is fight. Said her past is her darkness, and she finally found a light. <laughs> and my goofy ass over here actually believing in the hype. <laughs> Dumb shit. As she makes her exit plan to leave her old man and plan her new life, she looks me in my eyes and says she can last forever with a man who do right. And my dumb ass listen. Two months later, she went missing. This is not the first time she answered my phone call, but this time different. It's been about two weeks and I got to think to myself what I did to give her distance. And in that instance, she finally returned my phone call. It's a life been hard. She wanted to keep her phone off. She chose do not disturb and just didn't turn her ring on. Whole time she didn't want to be disturbed because she went back home to put her ring back on. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh! So shit got deep, didn't it? <laughs> Y'all didn't even expect this. Y'all like, I ain't come for this shit. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I like it. Man, 
that pandemic year have me realize my son wasn't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? A little simple shit. He ain't got no, he ain't got nothing. Like, little, hey, he ain't got the good shit he need to fucking advance in life. I forget the fucking word. I'm about to say the word, but I'm, I'm dyslexic too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 he ain't got no ambition. That's the word I'm looking for. He ain't got no ambition. He ain't got no ambition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I knew the nigga was going to be nothing in life because the nigga got, the nigga was late every day in school. And that pandemic year, you know, when they was using computers. How the fuck you late every day and all you gotta do is press power? Like, how the fuck? The nigga didn't have to leave the house, he had to go nowhere, he had to be, he ain't have to jump, to jump on the bus, none of that shit. All you had to do is press power. Nigga still late. The nigga got all F's. All F's. F's must stand for Fortnite, cause that's all the fuck he did was play Fortnite the entire time in class. I'm talking about he good too. He got his computer on a 90 degree angle, only aimed at his face. His hands behind the computer screen, you know what I'm saying? Controller in the hand, playing the game the entire time. Nobody would ever notice the one thing he interrupted the whole class, talking about, da, 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 these motherfuckers can't see me. <laughs> Nigga, pay attention. These younger kids, man, I tell you that, these younger kids is way smarter than the older kids. <laughs> younger kids, way smarter than the older kids. Come home one day, my eight year old goddaughter, she's supposed to be on this online school shit too. She's supposed to be on this online school shit too. Eight year old. I come in the house, she driving around the whole house on her little pink barber car. <laughs> she driving around the whole house on her pink barber car. Don't give a fuck. I said, ain't you supposed to be in school? She said, I am in school. I had to pay closer attention because she was in school. <laughs> I looked down, she got the computer on the barber car driving around the whole fucking house. The teacher don't say shit about the change of backgrounds or nothing. She done passed the couch, she done passed the lamb, she had the refrigerator red with juicy juices sitting on a bitch and throwing them over her shoulder. She don't give a fuck. The teacher, I said, this is not how you're supposed to be in school. She said, you just mad, you ain't never have a computer on your dashboard, then drove off. The teacher said, who is Martin Luther King's wife? She responded, Martin Luther Queen. <laughs> and at that very moment, I realized, <laughs> I need to stop smoking and watching kids. My high ass talk about good answer, baby. Good answer, like we on Family Feud or something. I got one of those stupid ass suits on. <laughs> stop it! I'm talking about she was a black queen. They better recognize, bitch. <laughs> she was. So I'm like, man. Shit's crazy. My um, my son might make it. He want to be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? And I realized he might make it because he want to be a rapper because, you know, you can be a literate and a rapper. You ever, you ever read Meek Mill tweets? <laughs> <laughs> Those shits is confusing. Ain't that gonna hurt your head trying to read that shit? That's why I realized he might be able to make it, you know? So I started sending him to the studio and shit. Don't you know this nigga going diss me in a rap song? I'm sitting, I'm paying for the studio. The nigga dissed me. Nigga say, <laughs> my mom said, don't be a bum, I like your dad. I'm glad I'm not a bum, but what the fuck does like your dad mean? I don't like that answer. What the fuck does like your dad mean? So you know what the fuck I did. I went to the studio myself. Wrote my own diss track back. I <laughs> said, First off, fuck your mom and the son she claimed. I your father motherfucker put respect in my name. Come stop playing with me. <laughs> Dumb shit, man. <laughs> I like it. I got a uh that nigga just start, he just just start showing pictures in the middle of the show. <laughs> Work. She ain't got no job, you know what I'm saying? She needed a job title. Y'all know how black families work. 
nigga, you just wake up babysitting, nigga. You ain't even know. You ain't know you gonna babysit today. You just wake up with a child in your face. You talk about bring your mom and he talk about I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> you had a job interview at 10 30, you can't even go. <laughs> Bro, I'll tell you one thing. Living with a black family and not having enough money to get about the house like that, they have you doing so much shit, you can't do the shit you need to do to get about their house. I promise you, if I go homeless again, I'm homeless. Fuck it. I'm not moving in with nobody. I'm not asking nobody to stay a couple days. Last time I asked somebody to stay a couple days with my grandma. I said, hey grandma, I just need a house for like three days. Three days to get my shit together and I get about your house, right? She said, no problem, baby. I just need you to do one thing for me. I said one thing for you, Grandma. She said one thing. I just need you to paint the house. Paint the entire fucking house. The entire fucking house is crazy. What? She came back to me three days later talking about, well, did you find somewhere to stay? Bitch, I've been painting the house for three days. <laughs> I live here now. Clean out my room. Stop fucking playing with me, Grandma. <laughs> My lady a little weird though, she awkward. She gay. And she not she not awkward and weird because she gay. She awkward, weird, and gay. It's like a combination package. You know? Combination package. She do little weird shit. Like she only date women with kids. She ain't got no kids, but only date women with kids. She like she's so determined to be a stepfather. <laughs> that is her goal. That is really her goal in life. My problem is, I got a problem with the kids. My problem is, she like to ask you stupid ass questions about her kids. You know what I'm saying? She gonna come up to you and ask you questions like, yo, bro, you think the babies look like me? No. They look like their father, not their step. But stop playing, bitch, come on. You fucking pet it. <laughs> pet it. And I got a problem with my, my sister. I ain't got a problem with her being gay. But she transitioning. I don't know if y'all know what transitioning mean. That means she like a robot. I mean, she like she like a transformer, robot in disguise. All right, she like Pinocchio. Like she want to be a real boy, but instead of a long nose, she want to dick that bro. You feel me? Understand? What I'm, y'all picking up what I'm putting down? I ain't trying to get in trouble by the LGBTs later. I had the LGBTs on my ass, trying to shut me down. Fuck out of here. <laughs> she. It, it, look, it's a little weird. All right, she transitioning. And I ain't got no problem with her transitioning. Do your thing. But she want to change my vernacular because she transitioned. I don't like that. She want to change the way I speak about her. She want to change the nouns and pronouns that I use to describe her. She don't want me to use nouns and pronouns like she, her, and hers. She want me to use nouns and pronouns like he, him, and his. But she don't realize every time we go out in public, people see her. So now I just sound retarded. My man came over the house the other day. He like, yo, who that? I'm like, him just my sister. <laughs> he like, what's wrong with him? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe he eye right now. His period on. <laughs> His red dot here, his Mrs. Kane, his Aunt Flo here. Come on. My sister get mad at me because she still mad that I call her my sister. She like, yo, bro, I thought I told you to call me bro, bro. And I'm like, yeah, you right, my bad. But she still needs shit, so I still gotta ask for things for her. So I'm like, yo, anybody got a pass for my brother? <laughs> this nigga is tripping. <laughs> Fuck it. Life's crazy. We're living with a um, living with somebody that like transitioning, like the gays and shit. That's that's strange. You know what I'm saying? Like one time, all right. So I'm clumsy. Let me tell y'all the story. I'm clumsy as fuck. I wind up knocking her book bag off the um, off the couch. And when I'm telling you, butchers always carry these book bags. I don't know if y'all know. Butchers always carry a book bag, and I'm gonna tell y'all one thing: don't ever look in that motherfucker. There's all kinds of mysterious creatures you don't want to fucking know about. You know what I'm saying? The fucking book bag not fall down, everything fall out the book bag. Thirty-six dildos. 
All kinds of sort of dicks. Big ones, small ones, red ones, blue ones, ones you're gonna use like eating green eggs and ham. All kinds of <laughs> all kinds of mysterious dicks in this bag. You know what I'm saying? I had to ask, I'm like, yo, why would you have so many? Why would you have so many in the bag? She like every time she get a new girlfriend, they make her get a new thing. Did y'all know that? Did you know every time a gay girl get a new girlfriend, she gotta buy a new thing? Did you know that? So every time they get a new girl, like every time I change relationships, they gotta change things. And I just think that's stupid. That's fucking dumb. You know what I'm saying? You see this dick right here? I wash this bitch off. Put anybody I want to. Ain't nobody gonna make me go get a new dick. Well, they like going to get a new dick. Fuck out of here. That's the dumbest shit. If you don't put some soap in that motherfucker, I mean, I know you can't put every soap in every girl, right? Like, listen, you can't put every soap in every girl. You know what I'm saying? I only like, I only like the good women anyway. Like, if you put Irish ladies, if you use Irish spring, I would never eat that pussy. I would just, no, nah, there's no way I trust you. You wash up like a Caucasian man. Fuck out of here. That pussy is tainted. It's <laughs> no fucking way. You know, I like that dove pussy, that white and that pink bar. You know what I'm saying? You might get a little fancy with that rosa bar, that pink, you know? That dove pussy. I ain't gonna lie, it looks like there's a lot of older women in here. This looks like a little, this looks like dial pussy in this audience. It's a lot of dial pussy in this audience. I can see it. I can see all that dial pussy. <laughs> you know, you can't even. You can't even go to a regular store to go get dial. You gotta go to like a family dial. <laughs> she smell like a nickel all day. This bitch, this bitch just smell like a coin star. Every time she wash up with that motherfucker, this is <laughs> that dial pussy is anything. <laughs> Hey, bitch, you ain't got no better shit yet. <laughs> <laughs> Lotion don't even work when your skin has to use dial. I ain't ass. 
Rayos? Ini Rayos Yes Oh, 